What's going on everyone? This is RR from FinSuite and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. Now this video specifically is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use the Add Classes tool, a very powerful tool that can do amazing things to your CMS. We're now able to add specific classes to specific items in your CMS and it's going to be dynamic as you add new things. Now, how do we do that? Well, this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can st set that up. So make sure you keep watching. So we're in our designer and we're gonna go ahead and set up our page so that we can show you how to use the add classes tool. Now, this one's actually gonna be pretty easy okay so let's go ahead and start out by going to our items here and we're going to add the section and the container this tool is very powerful it allows you to add classes to whatever items inside your cms it doesn't have to be every single cms it could be individual ones so it's actually really cool it's very powerful you can randomize you can add styling to a lot of your CMS items. This also allows you to control the start of it, allows you to control the frequency of it, um, kind of like if you want you know, every other item to have that class, you're able to do that. If you want just one item to have that class, you're able to do that as well. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do a common thing that we do whenever we have items is a common left and right section. You've probably seen websites where you have, um, say, an image on the left side and the text on the right side, and then underneath that, where the image on the right side, text on the left side. Well, what we're gonna do, and we're gonna set that up and make it into a CMS so that you're able to add new sections and you're able to add new items super easily is going to be dynamic and you don't have to go into the designer every time you can just go to editor go to the collections add an item and it will automatically flip every other item so it's pretty cool let's check that out how to do it step by step so we're going to go ahead and add the section and the container and we're going to use a cms that we actually created uh previously if you want to see how we created that cms Go to the video, how to create a CMS. We teach you step-by-step step how to create a CMS collection. And it's actually the collection that we've been using in a lot of our tutorials here. So refer back to that video if you wanna learn how to create a CMS. So we're gonna add a, a section and we're gonna name it section. We always wanna name our classes. Now, there's already some padding in there because we have we have these classes and other items as well. And I went ahead and kind of preset these classes. So this section has 100 padding on top, 100 padding on the bottom. We're gonna add a container inside. And we're gonna name it container with a width that we already have preset. Now what we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna start right at it. We're gonna add a CMS inside this container. So let's go ahead and do that. Press the plus button, go to collection list and drag it into the container. Let's go ahead and set the source. The source is going to be the FinSuite products for Webflow. Now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and name these items. We're gonna name the wrapper, the list, and the item itself. So we're gonna, first of all, name this, the list wrapper to collection hyphen list hyphen wrapper. As you can see, I already kind of have it here. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then the collection list, and then the item, we're gonna make it a little different. Now we're gonna name this add classes collection item. Now because we already, we want to have some settings on this. Before I do that, let me go ahead and delete some classes here. I want you to see it step by step because I, before I create this tutorial, I already have these things created. So we're gonna add a name on this one. We're gonna now call it add classes uh, hyphen collection hyphen item that's going to be the name of this thing now you want to remember this name because we're going to use this later on very very important we're going to use this for the code now let's add some spacing in this collection item before we add the items inside i want to add some margin on the top i want to add some margin on the bottom 
I want to add some padding inside as well. So I added a 50 margin on top, 50 margin on bottom, and I'm going to add a padding inside because I'm going to show you why later on. So we're going to go ahead and add, uh, I would say, 25 padding on the top, 25 padding on the right, 20, pretty much 25 pixel padding all around. The first thing we're going to add is the image. So go ahead and press the plus button and then go to image, drag that inside that collection item. Remember, we're going to choose the image. We're going to get the image from the CMS that we've already created. And then we're going to click get image, select field, product image. And notice we have our images here already. Now, we want to style it a little bit. So let's add, let's make it sh um, shorter. Let's make it not as wide. And we're going to add some shadows to it. But before we do that, we want to make sure we add a class on it. So I'm going to go ahead and call this um, add classes image, IMG short for image. Okay. We're going to make this width around 400 pixels wide. That looks, looks about good. And let's add some shadows just to make it look a little nice, okay? Here we go. Let's uh, make the shadow just subtle, a little subtle shadow. Make it a little bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. Make the blur a little bigger. There you go. There you go. That's just a... Just a little subtle shadow to make it look nice. Now, now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and add the text. Now, we're going to put the text inside a box. And the reason for that is we're going to make this collection item into a flex item. So go ahead and go click the add class collection item and click flex. We're going to align it, center align, vertically center, justified to the left. Okay. Now we want to add a text box because if we just, we're going to add two types of text. If we just add two types of text, it's going to be three in a row. We don't want that. So we're going to add a text box inside here. So let's do a div block right there. And we're going to call this, uh, is there a text box name? There you go. We'll just call it a text box. Simple text box. And then this text box, we're going to have a margin on the left and right. Now, you want to make the margin kind of even on left and right because we're going to flip it later on. And if we just put a margin, say, to the left, when we flip it, we're going to have another margin to the left. Now, you're able to add more classes to the add classes, but we're, going to add, we're only going to add one. So we'll just do a same margin left and right for this one. So here we go. 25 there, 25 here, and then we're going to add the heading and the text. So let's add this right here. Now we're going to get the text from the title. And then we're going to add the class heading because we have this preset to make it consistent with the other items. And we're going to add one more which is a text block, and we're going to get this text from the description. And there we go. We're going to name it paragraph. This is from a preset class. So this is what we have right now. Well, let's take a look at it. We're going to publish it, and then let's check it out. So that's the look that we want, just like this. Very, very simple. Now we're going to add some stuff. We're going to add what we call the section flip. What is going to look like the secondary sections, every other section. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to add classes collection item. And we're going to add a secondary class to this item. And we're going to name it section hyphen flip. Now the section flip is really simple. You're going to go down to the flex on the line on the direction. And you're going to click this button right here and notice it flips, right? So we have that and I want to make it different a little bit. I want to make it stand out a bit. So we're going to add a background, just a light gray, a very light gray background, just like that. And so now we have the section flip class, secondary class. Now what you're going to do, once you've created this, we're actually going to remove it. It's not going to exist anywhere here, but 
Now that class is actually saved into the CSS. So then the JavaScript, the uh, the script that we're going to create later on, is going to pull it from that CSS and add that class into the items that we want. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and go to Visual Script Writer, your best friend. Go to Visual Script Writer, and we're going to go ahead and do, go to Add Classes. It's very, very simple, the stuff that we're going to put in. Now, the first thing we're going to put in is the collection list. That's this right here. We want to get the whole list. So go ahead and put collection list. What's awesome about the Visual Script Writer is even if you don't put a period, it will automatically add a period because it knows it's a class. And then the class target is where we want to add that class, which is this right here, the add classes collection item. So let's go ahead and add that. And so we have that, and now we're going to put what we're going to tell the Visual Script Writer what class we're going to add. And the class that we're going to add is the one that we just created, which was Section Flip. So now we're telling the script that this is that class that we want to add, that secondary class that we created, that we add this to every single to every to this item right here. Now we're going to add a frequency. Now you're able to determine this frequency if you want it every other item you put two if you want it you know just different things you can play around with this number but we want it to be every every other item so we're going to put number two right here and we want to start it at two okay we're going to put two two just like that now copy the code and let's go ahead and add it to our page Go here and scroll down. We're going to add it to the before body tag and then save. Let's go ahead and publish it and see what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to show you it's actually not done yet. We're almost done one last thing. But as you can see, it's only doing it for one item, not the rest. And what we need to do is actually need to trigger it by adding some sort of animation anywhere we just need to add an animation anywhere so let's say we want to add it to the container you can go ahead and click the lightning bolt we're going to add an interaction anywhere so we'll go to page trigger let's say we just want to do a page load right here we're going to start an animation and i went ahead and created a page load which is on opacity and it's actually not even connected and that's totally fine you don't have to connect it if you want to use it you can if not that's fine. So once we add this animation, we're going to go ahead and click publish. And this this animation, this interaction kind of triggers the code to work um, to be more functional. And now there you have it. Every other item is flipped. We even have that gray background that we put there. But when, as you see it, it's just normal, but the script makes it different and so that's how you use the add classes tool you're able to do so much more just experiment and let your imagination run wild and you're able to add all these different classes to your items if you're still having any trouble or any questions make sure to check out sweetjs.io and join our slack channel the sweet js slack channel this is the customer service channel where you can ask any questions to the finsuite team on how to set up any of the tools that finsuite has to offer make sure you guys stay tuned for any more videos that we have coming out and more tutorials that we have on how you can use all the different tools that finsuite has to offer make sure you keep watching that's effing sweet